The following examples deal with um, fractions in square roots, and the key uh, property is a fraction of a square root can be broken into two separate square roots in a fraction. So the square root of 16 over 9 is the same as the square root of 16 over the square root of 9. Well, for this particular problem, that's very simple because we know the square root of 16 and we know the square root of 9. So the square root of 16 is 4 and the square root of 9 is 3. So the answer is 4 thirds. So the square root of 16 ninths is 4 thirds. And it makes sense because 4 thirds times 4 thirds is 16 over 9. As for this one, we break it to square root of 50 over square root of 49. Now, we know the square root of 49, that, that equals 7, so that part's pretty easy. Now, the square root of 50, we have to simplify. Well, the square root of 50 is the same as, um, if you use the perfect square method, the square root of 25 times the square root of 2. And we do know the square root of 25, which is 5. And so our answer turns out to be 5, square root, five, square root of 2, all over 7. Um, there'll be some more examples where we show that uh, 7 must be a... Um, real number, or a whole number, not a square, uh, square root. We never want a square root in the denominator. Uh, and we'll do some more examples later showing that um, what you do when you get a square root in the denominator.